Hi everyone, it's Rob Timmings from ECT for Health here with another episode of Knowing Your Jargon. We're right in the middle of a respiratory physiology series and so this is part three of what will probably be more than eight part series. Uh, today's episode is on tidal volume. First thing before we get started is I'd like you to take a breath in for me. Just breathe in normally and breathe out again. This time I want you to breathe in but take a deep breath and then just breathe out and breathe normally. So the first time I got you to take a breath, you didn't fill your lungs up. There's certainly a lot of space in here that you could have filled, but you didn't fill it. You breathed up to a comfort point, and then you breathed out again to a comfort point. That relaxed breathing, that's called your tidal volume. It's abbreviated as the volume A, V, with a little italicized T, not to be confused with ventricular tachycardia that we see in cardiology, the VT, uh, the volume AT dialysis or the tidal volume, is the volume of air that you breathe in with normal relaxed breathing. Of course you can take a deep breath and increase that volume, but just relaxed breathing. So let's understand this a little bit using a graph. So this is my volume, and this is time. Time. So let's say from zero minutes to, let's go one minute. Over here, this is my volume, and it might be a volume in, uh, in, in well, let's put the volume in mils. So we've got uh, 100 mils of air, 200 mils of air, 300 mils of air, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 10, uh, a litre of air. Now, when we take a breath in, we're really only breathing about 350 to 500 mils of air. So we take a breath in, let's say we start at this point, we take a breath in and we go up one, two, three, four-ish, and then we breathe out. And then we breathe in, and then we breathe out. And we breathe in, and we breathe out. It's like yoga. So 350 to 500 mils is your normal tidal volume. It's calculated by having a look at lean body weight. So we use the calculation of roughly 5 to 8 mils per kilo. So you can imagine that if you were a 70 kilo person, if you were 70 kilos, you multiply that by 5, you're going to come out to 350 mils. That's going to be your normal sort of bottom edge of your tidal volume. Up to 8 at 70 kilos, so 7 eighths are 560. There you can see is what your normal tidal volume range would it be expected to be for your, for your weight. That's your tidal volume. You're breathing in fresh air and you're breathing out quite a large concentration of waste gas. A bit of oxygen, about 16%. You're breathing out about, about 6% um, carbon dioxide. And when you contrast this with what you breathed in, you breathed in carbon dioxide at 0.03% is what you breathed in. That's your CO2. And you breathed in 21% of oxygen. But what you breathed out, when you went to breathe out, you were breathing out about 5 to 6 percent carbon dioxide, and you were breathing out about 16 to 18 percent oxygen. So you can see that you're breathing out less oxygen than what you breathed in, but you're certainly breathing out far more carbon dioxide than what you were breathing in. You're virtually not breathing any carbon dioxide in, but you, you expel when you breathe out about 5 to 6% CO2. And that's going to take us straight to our next video as we talk about that value called the ETCO2 measurement. See you in the next video.